and happy Monday. This is Kurt Bergman with my regular Monday book review of a baseball book that you may not know about. It could be an old one, it could be a new one, it could be fiction, it could be nonfiction. Uh, and today I have one that I really, really like. It's um, a book about a team. Now, to, before I tell you about the book, I have to tell you about the kinds of teams that I'm into lately, regardless of the sport. Um, and that is uh, teams that are not at their peak. Um, I'm fascinated by teams that are just passing their peak or maybe making one last run. Um, I'll give you some examples. I'm fascinated by the Washington Redskins under George Allen. Just the whole combination of players and um, the 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 the, uh, the future is now thing. George Allen just interesting to me. Not the player at their prime, but the player dealing with being after their prime. Not the leader of the team at their peak, but the leader of the team trying to get one more run out of them. I think it's fascinating. Uh, I'll give you another example. In basketball, one of my favorite teams is the Washington Bullets. Not when they're winning their titles in the late 70s, but the year, the season, or two after that, 78, 79, 79, 80. When things are starting to go downhill, but they're struggling to make the playoffs one more time. And this one is in that same spirit. It's called the 1972 Detroit Tigers, Billy Martin and the Half Game Champs. This is what it looks like. The writer is Todd Masters. Um, the publisher is McFarland. The publication date is 2010. There are 249 pages of text in this book. There is an index, which I love. You know I love that. And there are a few pages of statistics, but this is not a book about statistics. This is a book about the story of a team in a strike-shortened season uh, and a team sort of built mostly, not entirely, but mostly on the foundation of the 1968 World Series team making one last run with a new manager, not Mayo Smith, their manager in 68, but their new manager, uh, he had been for, this was his third season, Billy Martin. The book is, I think, really good. It is a book about the struggle of the team uh, in a sort of a new period of baseball, certainly for the American League, run scoring was way, way down in 1972. And of course that led to the DH being adopted for 73. There's this huge split between the American League and the National League in terms of run scoring in 72 by more than half a game, half a run per game, which is a ton. And then you've got the story of these players and Billy Martin trying to not, he's not getting the team that he wants. He wants a team that can run. And Todd Masters talks about this in the book. He wants a team that can do the small ball things that he loves to do and that he was successful with in Minnesota during his playoff runs with those teams, even though those were a power pack team as well. But he couldn't get these guys he didn't have enough speed to be able to do small ball. Um, so he's trying to squeeze every last piece out of them that he can, even though Jim Campbell and the leadership of the Detroit Tigers is sort of resistant to bringing in the young blood that he really wants. He's got to make it go with the team that he has. And these are veterans. Even the in-season trades that they made for folks like Duke Sims, and Frank Howard and Woody Fryman, that was just adding age to the team. And yet, because of the crazy schedule, in part, they narrowly beat the Red Sox for the American League Eastern Division Championship. And then they pushed the uh, eventual champion Oakland Athletics to five games, five 
the Max in the American League Championship Series at that time. Uh, and very come very close to winning the American League pennant. The book is a good one because it's well-researched. Uh, there's stuff you can tell is from newspapers in here. Uh, he's got some uh, uh, historical context, but not a lot. He doesn't spend chapter after chapter on the history of 1972 politics in the United States, which you know drives me nuts anyway. Um, he's got a little of that in here, but not too much. It's the perfect amount. And just enough to get you kind of in the spirit of 72. But most of it is quotes and game accounts and analysis of the team and the pennant race and Major League Baseball in 72. I paid uh, $25 for it. Its availability is a lot better for some reason than it was just a few months ago. I did a quick search online it is available if the Tigers are your thing, or even if 70s baseball is your thing. I think you'd like the book. Um, uh, again, not a sabermetric tome, but a an interesting story about older players making their one last push. And I think it's really interesting. It's also a pretty balanced view of Billy Martin. Uh, sometimes you read a book involving Billy M Martin or one of Billy Martin's teams and it's like a complete hack job on him or it's completely fawning. And this is kind of a middle of the road view of Billy Martin. So, 2010, McFarland Publisher, 1972 Detroit Tigers, Billy Martin and the Half Game Champs because they beat the Red Sox for the American League East title by a half game because of the quirks of the strike. Uh, Todd Masters is the writer. It's a good read. I encourage you to pick it up. 249 pages. Font looks like this. Uh, and there's just a few. There are a few pictures, but not too many. But there are a few pictures in the book to give you a flavor of the team as well. So that's my book review for today. Please subscribe to my channel for more book reviews. I come back at you every Monday with a new book for you to think about and look over. So thanks again for joining me. I hope you have a good day. So long, everybody.